Hey, what's up guys? Maiden Slave here, and today we're going to be talking about Jugulator by Judas Priest. Uh, I believe this is their 13th album, and their first album to have Tim Ripper Owens singing lead vocals. Shortly after the, I think it was the Painkiller Tour, it might have been a follow-up tour to the Painkiller Tour, somewhere, somewhere around 1992, Rob Halford left Judas Priest in order to pursue a um, solo career, which he did, and he did that for a very long time, actually. Um, and uh, for most people, you just see a huge gap in between Painkiller and Jugulator. It's about actually seven years, uh, and about six years until they started working on new stuff. And I think, I'm pretty sure originally they planned just to quit altogether. Um, if not, just take a huge break. And eventually, uh, one of the members of Judas Priest came across a tape of a Judas Priest cover band with Tim Ripper Owens on vocals. And uh, they pretty much liked what they saw. Uh, they thought that he sounded very similar to uh, Rob Halford, and that kind of, you know, motivated them or inspired them to actually get back in the studio. So they called him up and asked him if he wanted to audition for the band to actually come over to uh, England and audition for it. And he did, and he made it. And um, looking back on it, I would honestly have to say that that was probably a mistake to find a Rob Halford clone. Um, because, you know, unless you're a hardcore Judas Priest fan that absolutely loves everything that they do, to everyone else in the outside world, the albums with Tim Owens on them are just like the cheesy version of Rob Halford. I'm sorry for the people who actually really like Tim Rip Owens. He's a good singer, technically, but I think he was, he was way too similar of a singer um, to you know, Rob Halford. Although it was a mistake to find a Rob Halford clone, uh, I really feel like these albums don't suffer from uh, the, the fact that Rob Halford is absent. I mean, you know, Rob Halford is a great singer and everything, but if you have good music, then you have good music, and there there is actually some pretty bad albums uh, that Rob Halford was on, so um, Jugulator is a bad album. I'm just going to say it up front. It's bad. It's not good. Uh, you know, there's really no redeeming factors about it at all. And I'm just going to say up front as well that it's not because of Tim Ripper Owens. It's because of the music. Um, well, first of all, it's it's very long. It's about an hour, which is really long in 1997. Most of the songs on this album are very slow, um, especially for Judas Priest coming off of Painkiller. And a lot of stuff that they did before. It's very slow, it drags on for the most part, and the music is not very impressive. Uh, I will say that the sound of the album is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the guitar sound, the drum sound, sonically, this is a masterpiece. So the first song is called Jugulator, it's the title track. And this song pretty much starts off every single problem that I have with this entire album. It's it's slow, it drags on, and most of the songs on this album have very long and boring intros. The intros on this album are very repetitive, and that is, is where the boredom kind of lies. The fact that they're so repetitive, and I understand what they were doing, they were kind of like, let's, let's have an idea, maybe like a guitar line, and then we'll play that for a few bars, and then maybe we'll add another guitar here on the side, and then you know play that for a few bars, and then maybe we'll add some drum effects on the side, you know, and, and it just ends up being a bad product. It ends up being very boring. Um, yeah, the song itself is not very good. I'm not impressed by the vocals. I'm not impressed by the musicianship. Uh, there's pretty much nothing good about that song at all. The next song is called Blood Stained. And, um, you know, this is one of the songs where this, the amazing sound on this album really comes out. But aside from the great sound, uh, the song itself is very boring. The next song is called Dead Meat, and um, really good intro actually, there was some potential there with some really really cool riffs, but it kind of goes nowhere from there. Uh, just another very boring song. Death Row is the next song, Garbage, uh, Decapitate is the next song, terrible fucking intro, the song itself once again very boring, repetitive, drags on, generic bullshit. Uh, Burn in Hell is the next song, and this song takes way too long. To pick up. Unfortunately though, I have to say that this is one of the shiny moments on this album. 
It has a pretty damn catchy uh, chorus. Um, you know, at best, it's just generic. It's just generic metal bullshit. That's that. That's what it is, at best. And it's very unfortunate to say that this is one of the actual highlights of the album. Um, there you go. Brain Dead is the next song. Same shit. Abductors. Same shit. Bullet Train. It was actually a pretty decent song. Uh, musically, it was probably the most impressive song on the entire album. Uh, but other than that, though, it too was a little bit too damn repetitive. And the last song on the album is Cathedral Spires. And this is like the big epic, like the Blood Red Skies, Victim of Changes type thing. And it too was fairly decent. There's a lot of, you know, choruses in there, some choir stuff, some soloing, very atmospheric. Pretty much what you would expect from a very long Jesus Priest song at this point. So probably the thing that you have heard me say the most during this review, aside from repetitive boring dragging, is hardcore Judas Priest fans. And um, that is pretty much my main conclusion about this album, is the fact that I think that hardcore Judas Priest fans um, will enjoy it for the most part. If anything, they'll say it's fairly decent. Um, but other than that though, it is a very terrible album. At best, it plays it safe, and it just kind of sounds generic. I would definitely not advise anybody to pick this album up, even if you consider yourself to be a pretty pretty hardcore Priest fan and you haven't really touched on any of the Timo and stuff yet. I would say, really, you're not missing out on much. Uh, it's just not very memorable, and for a reason. There's really nothing on this album that will wow you in any way, shape, or form. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think anybody should waste any of their time on this album, so I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time watching a review of this album. So I'm going to give Jugulator by Judas Priest a 1.5 out of 10. Later, guys.